like grim death. Towering over Los Angeles, the Occidental Center, setting for the first Australian trade display ever held in the United States. Art Linkletter and his wife are prominent among the special guests. Former Australian Prime Minister Sir Robert Menzies is accompanied by Dame Patty. Sir Robert officially opens the display, the largest exhibition of down-under goods ever shown in a foreign country. Fashion showings in a wide range of styles and materials are representative of more than 30 leading Australian designers. No doubt because of our surf, sand and sun image abroad, swimwear and casual clothes are well to the forefront. There's strong accent on woolen goods, though Sir Robert seems to doubt Linkletter's style in a lady's cardigan. Nearby, Dame Patty is intrigued by a suit of kangaroo skin. Australian Trade Commissioner Michael Long models the ultimate in our homegrown millinery. Jewelry is also featured, this little bauble being valued at a mere $10,000. Sporting goods manufacturers are also among the Australian firms who've submitted over 2,000 products for the display, and local interest is so great that a full day extension is necessary to accommodate ticket holders. Taking a day off from Hollywood chores, a well-known trio of expatriate actors, among them the tall and unmistakable Chips Rafferty, plus new moustache. Champion swimmer turned actor Murray Rose, and the long-established Michael Pate. High point of the display of wines, foods and beverages, a tasting bar which comprises the combined products of about 30 exhibitors. Already famed through the praise of visiting GIs, the Aussie beer so far from home becomes even...